Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're looking at Josh Donaldson um, taking some batting practice here in the cage. And I was sent this video. This video kind of was all over the place. I had a bunch of people sending it to me, asking me about this drill. And so I'm going to play it here. And I've got a couple of different things I want to talk about. Let me get it going here for you. And let's just kind of watch it. And then I'll talk, give you my thoughts. Okay, so a couple of thoughts that I have. I think the first thing is is the importance of of understanding your swing, right? Knowing what you're trying to do, why you're trying to do it. I think Josh Donaldson has proven, you know, a couple of years ago, it was probably more than a couple of years ago now, when um, he really started to talk about, you know, the swing changes that he made and why he made them. He was all over TV, all over the internet. You had kids all over the world basically trying to be Josh Donaldson and trying to mimic his, you know, big leg kick and big moves. Um, and some people probably really failed miserably doing it, and some people maybe found some success. But Donaldson clearly um, has spent a lot of time getting to to know his swing, understanding his swing. What does he need to do? Why does he need to do it? And he went from a player that was not a superstar in the minor leagues, right? to all of a sudden was a superstar in the major leagues, was putting together huge years. And I'm not saying that every player, I'm not saying this will work for every player. I'm not saying that every player should go out and, and try, to, try to copy these movements of Donaldson. What I am saying is that it is important for every player to understand their swing and know why they're what they're doing why they're doing it it's really really important there's a lot of players that have no idea what they do or why they're doing it when i was a younger player i had no idea what i was doing or why i was doing it and i hit really well for a really long time and then after getting drafted and having two pretty good seasons my short season and then my first full season was my best season of my life and my third season I stopped hitting and my swing started to change and I had no idea what I did or why I did it and so I couldn't fix anything because people would tell me Matt just go back to doing what you used to do and I'd say I don't know what I used to do <laughs> Because I, I didn't know my swing. I didn't understand my swing. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know why I was doing it. And so Donaldson, I think, like I said, has clearly put in a lot of time and effort to understand his swing and why he's doing it. And so here's an example of him doing a drill. And he's trying to get an exaggerated feel here. He clearly is trying to get into a position of, you know, this. And again, his movements are 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 big and they're probably even exaggerated in this drill but he really likes to feel this pull back as he moves forward right so he's talk I've heard him talk about separation and you know I believe in a similar type move where I want to get pulled back as I move forward now I don't think it has to be this exaggerated but this clearly works for Donaldson this may not work for other players but the thing I, I like is that, again, he's found a drill to where he can work on getting into the position that he feels puts him in the best spot to put a very solid swing, his A swing on the ball every time. And so he's created a routine where he goes through this drill, and I'm sure maybe a couple of others, and that keeps his swing locked in, that keeps him right where he wants to be. 
and he has the discipline to do it. Again, I don't know if he does it every day, but he clearly this is not the first time he's done this. Okay, so I think that's really really important. The second thing is that's important is feeling confident in doing it and not really caring what anyone else thinks about what you're doing, right? So you're going to have like, here we go. So these guys over here, I don't even know who this is. I can't really tell, but they're just kind of, they were just hitting. And then all of a sudden now they see, they look up and they say, oh, Josh Donaldson's going through some drills. Now, sometimes people will say, you know, look at this idiot over here or, you know, what the hell are you doing, right? And it's a little easier for Josh Donaldson to be like, if someone did say that to him, be like, yo, dude, like, check my baseball card, check out my stats. But there's been plenty of times where I've seen guys working on things and doing drills and maybe they're a little unconventional and people, like, will give them crap about it. Like, what the hell are you doing? A nice drill over there. Like, what's that working on? And there is something to be said to, to basically say, I don't really care what anyone else says or thinks. I'm going to make sure I get my work in. And even if some of the things look foolish, they help me get prepared for the game. They help me get my swing to where I want it to be. And so I'm going to do it. Now, he might be looking and being like, damn, that's a sick drill. Like, okay, everybody, we're going to do the JD drill now. Like, he might be saying that. I don't know what he's saying. But when you have an, a kind of an exaggerated drill like this, people are going to watch and take notice. And some people may give you crap for it. Some might not. But again, you've got to be, you've got to find something that you can do consistently that you believe in. And, you know, part of being a young player is, we talk to our guys about it, is trying to find that routine, routine and trying to figure out what drills do get your swing locked in, what dr drills do get you ready. And when you find them, you stick with them. To make sure that your swing does stay, you know, again, does stay locked in. And it's not just luck that you happen to, to, to have a good swing one day. And, you know, the, there's work put in behind the scenes to make sure that every day you're ready to go. And you might not get a hit that day. You might not go, you know, you might go for 20. But you're putting yourself in position to be successful and to put good at-bats together. And to put your A swing on the ball as consistently as possible. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know if you if you like it, if you don't like it, or just your general thoughts. I'd be interested to hear. So that's all we got for today. Thank you for the 100 people that sent me this video. And um, that's all I got. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.